The journey to find answers often takes a difficult dig. Here to find basket cockles before the tide comes in. Got one here. It's just one step on the search for solutions. Scientists say a virus like cancer is spreading among several types of shellfish, including a species the Suquamish tribe was working to restore when they discovered this threat. We know these cancer cells can actually survive pre-floating in the water. Uh, for at least a number of weeks. And we can tell by looking at the DNA of the cancers that they are different from the, the, the cockle that they're in or the, or the clam that they're in. During the next five years, a team of researchers and partners will collect and study samples to learn more about how cancers spread in bivalves and how to stop it, a priority for the Suquamish tribe. That this is not just a science experiment. This is a life experiment that this will affect our people this will affect how we gather our traditional foods. The tribe has been working to restore populations after factors like pollution and temperatures cause them to decline. You know, we need to try to keep the Puget Sound, Salish Sea um, as, as clean as we can. Researchers are collecting the cockles at a number of locations. I'm just gonna walk out for a minute in that direction and back just to see if I see anything on the surface. Trying to see how much of the Salish Sea has been impacted. Researchers say there's no indication that the cancer can spread from bivalves to other species. But humans are totally safe. You can eat clams, you can eat mussels, and there is no risk of, of any danger to human health. From Pencove, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.